garage sales are ripe with budget-friendly finds, but often what you score secondhand needs a little more love. This is 17 before and after DIY furniture makeovers with legs. One, turn a ratty cabinet into a mid-century modern wonder. This cabinet originally comes under the beat up ugly white paint. And this is what it took to give this white box a new life. First, sanding all over the paint on the drawer. Add two coats of primer and two coats of high gloss enamel paint. Attach six mid-century modern style wood and metal legs from Home Depot, and then add two coats of tongue oil on the drawer and legs only. When it's finished, the result is amazing. Two, DIY a vintage dresser that goes from white to wow. Start by removing the bottom trim on the dresser and then strip off the paint. Stripping off the paint, you could use a clean strip premium stripper to do the job. Spray it with a spray primer, let it cure for a few days, add a couple of one by fours to the dresser and then attach the leg brackets to the wood. Next, add 16 inch legs from Home Depot to the bracket. In order to hide the wood supports that the brackets were attached to, add a couple of 1x2s around the edge as trim. Paint the dresser red, and after two weeks of drying time, this is what it looks like. 3. Add legs to a mid-century modern dresser. In this project, Sarah and David create their own legs to make over the dresser from furniture sales. Here's how to do it. First, start off with a piece of 1x8-inch wood. Create the curve by using a ridged piece of string and measure the midpoint of the board to the end point of the board. To make sure that the curve was equal, one held the pencil and string tight at the top and touched the midpoint and both of the ends and the other adjusted the string at the bottom. Then they repeated for the bottom curve, about two inches thick. After they finished with the jigsaw, they cut out the curve, determined the measurements and then cut the legs according to the design within those guidelines. They glued and clamped the curved pieces to the leg, and after it dried, drilled through both at an angle with a 3 8 inch bit, put some wood glue in the hole, and inserted a dowel rod and cut off the excess. Last, they mounted the legs to the supports, using screws from underneath, then reattached the support to the dresser. 4. DIY Makeover a Thrift Shop Dresser to a Mid-Century Style Dresser this project is quite simple. First, paint the drawer fronts a glossy white that really breaks up all of the laminate and makes a great backdrop for the new chrome hardware. Next, add some tapered legs stained to match the laminate wood to really complete the retro look. This is all the material used, which all was purchased from Lowe's Home Improvement Store. 5. Transform an IKEA dresser from elementary to elegant. What you will need for this project. A Tarva dresser, Lewis Dolan 14 inch bar pole, Teresa's green paint, orbital sander, primer, paint, nail hole filler, an air compressor to spray on the paint for a super smooth finish, chop saw, and drill. Here's how to do it. With the legs on, mark the cut lines with a pencil and put an X on the side that will be waste. This reduces confusion once the legs are loose and they all look the same. After the lines are marked, take the legs off, cut them down with a chop saw, and then put them back on. Change the drawer pull with Lewis Dolan and then repaint the dresser with spray paint. The finish turns out so much better. 6. Stick legs on a suitcase for a vintage side table. What you need for this project is a simple briefcase, cut to size wood and legs. That's all. This is the package for the legs. They are 40 centimeters long, which is ideal for a side table. First, place the cut to size board in the case. Place the leg holders on the bottom of your suitcase and screw them down through the wood in the bottom of your suitcase. Make sure that the leg holders are inclined and that the high side is pointing inward. And voila, it's that simple. Turn the briefcase round and it's become a gorgeous side table. Seven, transform an Ikea wooden futon into a modern day bed. By simply upgrading this typical collegiate IKEA wooden futon in the living room to a bit more stylish adult living room sofa, you could save a lot of money. 
Here's how to do it. First, take apart the futon and lay it out. Carefully saw off the round attachment edges to make sure the pieces are squared off and fit together properly. Next, cut the pieces to size and then nail together the framing for the seat, attaching it to the four paneled section, creating the sofa seat. Add the steel L brackets to all of the corners of the seat base for added support to the frame. Attach the arm and back panels using nails and using the last two steel L brackets for added back and side support. Now you have the sofa frame finished. Next, cut the futon cushion with scissors or serrated bread knife and double the seat cushion using two layers of the futon cushion. Measure and cut the fabric pieces, then sew the corner edges of the arm and back covers and also the fabric cover for the sofa seat cushion. Last, screw in your sofa leg and turn the whole sofa on its feet. Eight, morph a rolling table into a stationary one. First, start by removing the casters and replacing them with new wooden furniture feet. Prime and paint the cart, then remove the doors and decoupage the front with decorative paper. Cut a new back for the cart from one inch plywood and decoupage it with coordinating paper. Add new knobs to the doors and reinstall. Nine, DIY makeover an old stale stereo to sassy sideboard. This old vintage console stereo looks like it had seen better days, but it has potential in transforming into a bold and useful furniture piece. All you need to do is prime and paint it with high gloss oil-based paint in cobalt blue. Make false door fronts and drawers in the center section. Cover it with ICAT fabric and then finish it up with a new hardware style. Now a stylish sideboard is ready with plenty of inside storage for linens, dishes, even a bar. 10. Give a new life to a broken drawer. This dresser came in very bad shape. It had stickers on it, screws in it, ink stains, drawers that didn't work, and of course the largest problem was one drawer was missing the whole corner. Here is the step-by-step -step guide. First, get rid of the broken drawer. Next, move the bottom drawer into the top position and then alter the frame. After that, cut the side panel back to the rear legs and add a new leg at the front. For the last step, remove the old paint, add a new drawer pull, and repaint the drawer. After she's all painted up and put back together, this is the result. 11. DIY a ladies' French nightstand This project is actually quite simple. All you need to do is add a new curvy leg to the bottom of the nightstand, change the drawer pull with something retro, and repaint it. The best part is the long, curvy legs. 12. DIY makeover an old card cabinet into an accent table with legs. First, the cabinet comes with all the rust and flaky paint, so with some rough sandpaper, get rid of the rust and smooth out the surface. After it's smooth, give it a new coat of paint and let it completely dry. Once everything is dry, simply put the card catalog on top of the outdoor table and it's done. 13. Turn a wooden pallet into a sexy coffee table. Do you want this coffee table? The DIY instruction for this project is quite complicated, so check out the complete step-by-step -step guide at Instructables. 14. Repurpose a legless buffet into an awesome TV stand. First, find hairpin legs and attach them at the support under the buffet. You could find the hairpin legs at Ikea, Lowe's, or Home Depot. Next, give a light sanding to remove the little bumps and bruises and then stain the whole piece using dark walnut paint and seal it with a top coat. Last, add a colorful fabric using Mod Podge to the back and side panel. And this is the end result. 15. Upgrade your old, outdated table and turn it into a sleek and modern dining table. This project is also simple. First, take off the original legs, sand, and add a walnut stain to the table. Next, add new hairpin legs at the four corners of the table, and then complete the modern look with Eames style chairs from Amazon. 16. Use legs to make your couch look more expensive. This IKEA hack is super easy, and all you need to do is lay the couch on its backside, take off the old legs, and screw on the new ones. It's as simple as that. 
you should be aware that, although you could simply pick up a few legs from Lowe's and use some new mounting plates, the legs are not sturdy enough. For this project, blogger Amy ordered custom legs specifically made for IKEA couches from Uncle Bob's workshop. 17. Attach longer legs to a side table or dresser to fit storage baskets underneath. For this project, blogger Christy from For the Love of Wood used table legs from MDF Coffee Table and attached it to her nightstand. Step 1. Cut off the extra top part so they will fit flush under the nightstand. Step 2. Pre-drill and screw the legs into place on the front of the nightstand. Step 3. Cut the back legs from some stock lumber to match the height of the front legs. Step 4. Glue and screw your back legs into place. And there you have it. And that's all. For more furniture makeover tips, stay tuned to our channel. Hit the like button below, subscribe, and share our videos with your friends. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next videos.